Hello, this is Carol at MySiteWizard.org. Today we're going to talk about maps, how to put them on your website. Can you remember the saying, location, location, location? Well, this is true about websites too. You want to have people not only coming to your website, but if you have a physical location, you're a lawyer, doctor, an artist, a therapist, whatever the situation might be, you want them to also to be able to physically locate you. So let's look at a site where they've been able to do that very successfully. This is a lovely bed and breakfast. And these folks have put on their menu directions. So visitors can quickly locate where they have to go in order to find the bed and breakfast. On the left hand side they have text how to locate it. On the right hand side because this is an international location they actually have a general orientation where it is in reference to let's say Germany or here we have the city Paris or London. But what people are really going to be looking for is this Google Maps. And you know the wid widget is easy to install and it's very very functional. You can move it around and you can actually drill down and magnify it like this. Uh, and you can use the satellite to be able to get a different impression and again drill down. But let's get started on our own and see how that works. Okay, here I've got my blank blackboard basically. And uh, because I've got a dark background, I'm going to put in a little one of my tricks here. I'm going to insert, and at the bottom or near bottom, there's shapes. I'm going to click on here and choose a square. Because the background's so dark, I'm wanting to be able to create a darker impression here and I'm just going to do this. And I'm not sure if this is right but we'll see how it goes. So we've got a big square here. Well, far too big for my needs so let's put in some different numbers and remember we can drag and drop with my site wizard which is just great. I'm going to make it a little wider here and now we want to get our maps. So again I'm going up to the toolbar I'm clicking Insert. I'm going to Image. I'm choosing Library. And I'm going to click Library again. I know the Google Maps is in Favorites, so I'll go there. And here it is. I'm going to click on Favorites. Again, this is one of the reasons I love this site maker is that you have the actual widget or image here so you know whether it's the correct one or not. So you don't have to fumble around. So I use this one and to get out of the file manager I click on the X and here is my map. It's a world map but we're going to change this pretty quickly. I'm going to choose a place in London. don't purchase many things here but I love to sightsee in it and that is Harrods and that is in London. Now, if you're in New York or Toronto or uh, Boise, Idaho, wherever you are, just put in your street address, uh, the state, province, parish, wherever you are, and the country. And then you can choose the color your element is. Here, That's it's actually a balloon. I'm going to choose uh, my green again. I'm going to apply it. And, well, that's great, isn't it? It hasn't located. You know what? I've done this thing so many times and I haven't had that happen before. Some people ask me if I'm a real person. Well, you can see by that I am. Now, what I've done is I've simply reloaded it. I've actually put Harrods and I put a comma and London comma UK. I'm going to do this again. Apply it. And I am going to set up. It says show each one of these you want to click and you'll see the tools come up. This little navigation tool I don't think you really need. It's actually a panel unless you have an international location like the bed and breakfast. Plastic surgeons might use this, etc. But for most of us we, we don't really need that. I'm actually going to click that well, we've got Herod's, we'll keep it on there. 
Now what I want to do is adjust this so uh, the first view that people coming to my website will see will be closer up than the, this international view. So each time I click the plus, it gets closer and closer to my destination. We can see now it's pointed above London. And closer. Okay, you can see that we're getting closer to closer. Now I just want to give you some experience with the satellite. It's a cloudy day, the image is not going to be great, so be patient with this stuff. It's great technology, but it doesn't help if you're impatient. Now we can see right here the Thames running through it, which is so terrific to be able to see this. Let's see how close we can get. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm going to go back to the map and see if it's giving me fairly good and detailed road directions. Well, here we've got Harrods actually listed on the map, and we've got Knightsbridge going by it. We've got the tube station. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go back to satellite, get closer. Now that's about as close as I'm going to get. You can see the cars here. You can see where the actual shop is. And uh, really, what else could you want? Well, I asked the question. What I want to do is title this. So I'm going up to Body Text. I'm going to insert um, my tool little text box here. And I'm going to put Harrods. Department Store London. I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, increase the font to 14. I am going to make it bold. And there you go. That's the end of our tutorial, setting up your map on mysitewizard.org. Please go to the practice sheet. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. You can practice away for 14 days at mysitewizard.org. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, give me a rating. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.